This is the Jero 500 Census Projection Project for Nate Bowman Johnston. I'm doing my project on the Philadelphia Corporation for Aging, which is my current employer. The mission of Philadelphia Corporation for Aging is to improve the quality of life for older Philadelphians and to assist them in achieving their maximum level of health, independence, and productivity. Special consideration is given to those with the greatest social, economic, and health needs. Philadelphia Corporation for Aging was established in 1973 as the Area Agency on Aging, or AAA, for Philadelphia County. A private, non-profit organization, PCA is funded in part by the Federal Older Americans Act, Medical Assistance, and the Pennsylvania Lottery all channeled through the Pennsylvania Department of Aging. PCA administers state-funded home and community-based services for Philadelphia County, including personal care, adult day, transportation, home-delivered meals, environmental modifications, mental health counseling, emergency response, etc. PCA also operates two senior community centers a home repair program for low-income homeowners, an ombudsman program, a health insurance counseling program, an information and referral call center, and an older adult protective services program. PCA serves approximately 276,000 Philadelphians aged 60 years and older, representing 19% of the city's total population. Within that figure, 36% are at least 75 years old and 8% are age 85 and older. Additionally, 53% of the city's age 60 plus population are minority, foreign born, or both. Older Philadelphians experience poverty at almost twice the rate of senior citizens elsewhere in the country, earning Philadelphia the title of the poorest big city in the nation. Based on data from the 2010 census, there were 258,420 individuals in Philadelphia age 60 plus in the year 2010. I included the age bracket 60 to 64 uh, because age 60 is the lower age threshold for service eligibility for PCA. Based on data from the 2010 census, it is projected that by the year 2020, there will be 345,404 individuals in Philadelphia age 60 plus. Again, based on data from the 2010 census, it is projected that by the year 2030, there will be 332,617 individuals age 65 plus in Philadelphia. I was not able to secure data for the 60 to 64 age bracket for this projection. Based on census data projections for 2020, the population of individuals age 65 plus will increase by 36 percent, age 85 plus will also increase by 36 percent. Based on census data projections for 2030, the population of individuals age 65 plus will increase by an astounding 80%. And for individuals age 85 plus will increase by, again, an astounding figure of 86%. Also, Data from the 2010 census indicates that for individuals age 65 plus, there are 1.58 females for every male. And for individuals age 85 plus, there were 2.41 females for every male. Census data projections for the year 2020 indicate that for individuals age 65 plus, there will be 1.46 females for every male. And for individuals age 85 plus, there will be 2.24 females for every male. 
And finally, projections for the year 2030 indicate that for individuals age 65 plus, there will be 1.5 females for every male. And for individuals age 85 plus, there will be 2.59 females for every male. So what does this mean for PCA? The 60 plus population is projected to grow significantly over the next 20 years. PCA will need to increase its capacity to provide essential services. PCA will need to utilize technology to more efficiently and cost effectively meet individual needs, i.e. telecare services, monitoring systems, etc. With increasing economic strain on state and federal budgets, PCA will need to develop and implement innovative strategies that not only save money but increase service output. PCA will need to develop strategic partnerships with surrounding AAAs, hospitals, nursing homes, city government, and other community organi organizations to pool ideas and resources to meet the growing needs. And finally, PCA will need to continue to develop a compassionate, highly skilled workforce to meet the demands brought on by this demographic shift. This concludes my presentation. Thank you.